Hello, my friends. So today in the uh, metal shop garage, I am going to give the long-awaited sound clips to the oil exhaust from my Ford Explorer Sport. And why are you looking at lug nuts? Because I wanted you to uh, learn just a quick little lesson from my cautionary tale. I went to uh, put those brake caliper covers on a week ago, grabbed my trusty 13th, 16th Gorilla socket, which is to my understanding, which is what Ford has used since the beginning of time for their lugs, only to find out that and it spun them right off, but then they were stuck in the socket itself, and I couldn't figure out what was going on, and so I did a little checking, and I found out, crap, these are three quarters. The head on these is only three quarters, so I did a number on four of these. So I bought some new I had tapped on that one with a screwdriver to pop it out, which didn't work. It did dent it up. So I bought some new, uh, some new Ford, some new Ford lugs from Tasca Ford in uh, Rhode Island. So be warned. Use your three quarters. Be smart. Don't be like me. Don't strip out and completely destroy your lugs. So what else today? I wired up an aux port. My old daily driver, 2006 F-150. So I wired up an aux port for my son. I had the old Harman Kardon drive and play with the old, uh, the 30 pin connector. Uh, so I already had uh, an adapter, a precision interface electronics adapter wired in here. Um, but I had to just open it back up and, and wire up the uh, wire up the aux cable. The th we bought an adapter, a 30 pin to a lightning plug adapter, but it uh, did not work. So yeah, fantastic. So now he's uh, rocking the style and he doesn't have to use this uh, little speaker that he's been using here in the console. Bluetooth speaker here in the console. Silly. Alright, so here we are. You can hear my son, soon to be my assistant, here in the background. So, stand by. This will be inside the car with the door. Driver's door is open, letting in the horde of mosquitoes. Little, tiny little bit throatier. I'm going to put this on RPM so you can see the RPM. Doesn't that sound? Doesn't that sound way better? Pretty throaty at idle. I will say this, I think that the Borla exhaust has actually, its tone has kind of changed the more it's broken in. It's kind of mellowed out a little bit and I don't know, it's definitely, it's definitely better.
meet my assistant. Okay. Brady Clark, his friend Ian. <laughs> Both to give you a little dab. They're gonna film me driving off in the Explorer and going by it. I'm not gonna go up too fast, maybe uh, 30 miles an hour, I'll go past the uh, driveway. So, away we go. Here you go, Brady. <laughs> Subscribe to the chocolate Ian. Yeah, subscribe to the chocolate Ian. Okay. Okay, now next time we do this. Okay, let's wait for my dad. Hope you want this over. Let's go for a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go for a little bit. This is just gonna drive off a little. Let's go a little more. He's gonna drive off a little. He's don't gonna make a little turn. We should probably get to the side so we don't get like killed. Uh, we're not gonna get killed. Also, also subscribe to Coppa Gaming for twenty. C O P P E Gaming four two zero. Space in between. Space in between. Cop. Co copy and gaming are together and space in between four twenty. Okay, here he comes. Probably get to the side. He's just gonna go right by. Oh, you okay, watch, around. he's gonna turn around. I can't really see it. Now turn back that way. Okay. Guys. You guys should probably get ready. My dad's gonna come. You ready? This car does go pretty fast. And why is he just going back for? <laughs> Cause he doesn't know what he's doing. I thought he was just going to come back in and it would be it. Yeah, subscribe to subscribe to Tree Mob 2000. That's that tree right there. I made a YouTube account for him. You can seriously look it up. It's a real thing. Okay, you guys ready? No. He's gonna come back in. What? Pause. Yeah? Pause. Okay, like on the video? Yeah, on the side. Huh. Alright, so I'm not sure how well that turned out. I'm not sure how competent my assistants were in trusting a couple of nine year olds to run your camera. So, let's see. So we're in the, in the car, obviously. And I'll drive just a little bit with the uh, window up so you can hear it. It's noticeable from inside the cab. some at speed driving so you can hear it once the car hits fifth and sixth gear it's the sound completely disappears it's quiet like a stock Explorer even the sports um, you know having turbos on really quiets it down ah dump truck ah. So you can see now I'm I'm not sure what gear I'm in probably uh, fifth or sixth gear let's see I was in fifth fifth again quiet no drone just quiet so that's the best thing about the Borla exhaust is at lower speeds it really it's aggressive sounding when you romp on it, when you stand on it, it's it's very aggressive sounding. But when you, you know, when you hit your top gear and you just want to cruise, it's nice and quiet. You can you can notice the upshifts too. You can hear that a little little blip of the throttle when it upshifts. It's noticeable because of the exhaust. Probably third, fourth, 
fifth, and then sixth. And as you can see, we're just hit 80 miles an hour, which is double the speed limit for this area. I'll just turn around up here, and I'll roll down the window, and we'll try and uh, just to get a little bit more of the sound that way. Shift it. I'm not sure if you could hear that. Okay, window down. I'm going to sport mode. It's some more aggressive shifting, higher RPMs. So windows open. A lot of wind noise, sorry. Windows going back up. I got the slow, slow car in front of me. Mopes had a guy move up here from Connecticut. It was an old boss of mine, and he's like, Boy, you got a lot of mopes up here. I'm like, What's a mope? He's like, You know, those stupid people that drive really slow. Yeah, New Hampshire is full of mopes and not a lot of passing zones. So, insanely fast it sounds better it actually sounds a lot better in sport mode a lot more aggressive in sport mode you know if you just want to be the old family truckster type of cruiser just shift it back in a drive and quiet right down you can control the sound I know him pretty well. He's a car guy too, so I probably doesn't even probably doesn't recognize him. He's like, who's this a-hole driving around like a knucklehead? All right, so well, hopefully when I go to edit this, the sound clips will be somewhat reasonable. Um, sorry it took me so long to get to this. All right, my friends, as always, uh, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. Please give me a thumbs up. Tell your friends what have you. All right. Take care out there, my friends. Bye.